this video, I'm going to be going over some plays that I really, really like out of the Gun Bunch offset in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping you become a better Madden player. We try to teach you how to get better both on the offensive side of the ball as well as on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. And so I wanted to break down um, just a couple of plays here that I think is really, really effective out of the Gun Bunch offset. I've been getting a lot of requests for the Gun Bunch. And if you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive scheme, it is actually in my text message membership, which if you don't know what my text message membership is, it's a completely free thing that you can sign up for. It's actually very, very simple how it works. Essentially, all that, all that it comes down to is every single week I text you a new offensive scheme or defensive scheme. So we've broken down trips tied in, gun bunch, um, tray open, single back trio, all kinds of stuff, as well as nickel 335 wide, big nickel over G, and all kinds of really, really good schemes. So if you want to get that defense or those those uh, schemes every single week, just text me. My phone number is in the top left hand corner of the screen, and it's also in the description of the video. Okay, guys, so Gun Bunch is actually, I think, going to be probably the best offense in the game here before long, like bunch type of sets. And the primary reason as to why we all know that the best Gun Bunch in the game is from this uh, Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. The really the biggest reason why, though, is because of how powerful corner routes are going to be and also how powerful, like, clear-out route, clear-out type routes are going to be. So I want to show you this play from Double Post. You guys probably know or have at least tests of this play out in sub capacity um, and I just want to show you one setup from it uh, we're going to go over several different setups this is a max protect setup here where basically you just streak the left receiver and then you have these flood routes but what you'll notice about this crossing route is now more than ever before this crossing route is actually super super valuable um, with a recent patch that was put into the game what it basically means is that if corners are in any type of deep coverage they are going to basically um, always go with the vertical. They're not going to come down and play stuff late in the play. And so what that practically means for the gun bunch is now you are able to have from this formation a killer corner route and a killer crossing route, both within one play. So um, this is one setup out of the double post that I absolutely love. All you're going to do is streak Mike Evans. And then from there, what I personally like to do is I like to just drag the tight end. That's all I'm going to do. That's the only setup that's required. You might motion out Antonio Brown just a step or two, but that's really all you need to do. And what you'll notice here is this crossing route is absolutely insanely powerful. You see that it gets over 25-yard curl flat zones um, with relatively easy, um, you know, relatively easily. There's really nothing that the defense can do um, to defend this. And the beauty part, beauty of this scheme or of this route concept here is you obviously still have your quick flat route to your tight end where you can get the air truck going you also have that little route to the running back out of the backfield so you have good routes all around your play but really one of the one of the best things about this uh, this play right here is this dub this post route right here um, really does a good job of getting in the tender tender spot um, on the defense now one little one little caveat here is this play would actually be best if you ran your bunch to the short side of the field. Now, I know that it's not necessarily a popular thing to run your bunch to the short side of the field, but if you were to run your bunch to the short side of the field, you would see that this gets a little bit more open and you have a little bit more room on the sideline to be able to hit that post route as it crosses um, the entire formation. Now, the reason this is really cool uh, and really important is because if you notice anything about this, if you notice this play right here the the double post is actually really really good against man it's also really really good against every kind of zone in the game and this post route right here over the middle does a really really good job as well as coming underneath um, that first initial crossing route as a backside read so let's say that they're running some type of you know let's just say I don't even know what they would be running that would really stop this post route to Godwin but let's say they go use it or something like that well now you're gonna have you know good leverage on from both post routes and both post routes are gonna get very very much so uh, wide open now one little like I said one suggestion I had in the beginning of the video was um, basically to take your receiver on the outside of the bunch and just motion him to the right just a smidge um, and the reason why is you see that it gets really good inside leverage against the Tampa 2 or defenses like that um, where they might be you know having a deep blue on the field or something like that so 
that's just one setup. Obviously, there's several other ways to run this. One of the other most popular ways to run this setup, and C routes are so effective this year, and they're about to get even more effective. But doing a simple setup just like this right here, you'll actually be surprised how good the C route is going to be um, going forward. Obviously, if they have like 25 yard curl flats, it's going to be hard to get it. But if they, you know, if they have underneath zones. What you're going to find is these outside thirds play a lot more like deep halves, and so they're going to drift to the middle of the field. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave this route wide open for you to be able to hit these C routes. I think C routes, you're going to see they're going to make a huge comeback in Madden because they're very, very effective right now um, as far as just having a play that does a really, really good job. So, for example, I could do something like this. I could put the, the C route here, and then I could basically switch this play like this right here. And what you'll notice is, and I know I'm on the short side of the field, so just kind of bear with me a little bit. But what you'll notice is, you know, you do something like this right here. And again, I'm going up against just a generic cover three. But if you notice, they should run deep with R1. And then the C route should be, you know, something that I can hit on the outside. So I wasn't able to hit it there, but it's just some something to think about. Now, the reason this is really good is because of the play that is going to open up off of the back side of what we just ran, and that is the play uh, curl flat, which we'll get into in just a second. But before we do, I just want to remind you, if you want to get my full gun bunch offset scheme, I got about an hour and 15 minute breakdown in my text message membership, and I'm actually looking at maybe even updating that in the coming weeks. So make sure to text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. Okay guys, so the next play is really, really good. It's specifically good against Tampa 2. If they were to switch to Tampa 2 to try to defend this double post play, that's where this curl flat play is going to come in really, really handy. And all you're going to basically do is you're simply going to streak Antonio Brown, you're going to smart route um, Chris Godwin, and then from there what I like to do is just put my running back and essentially run a basic curl flat concept. Um, to the backside on this play you could do anything you wanted especially if you have hot route master you could put him on a post route i even like to slant that solo receiver but you could pretty much do whatever you want with the solo receiver but what you'll see here is this corner route if you basically pass lead this up it's going to beat every tampa two and every zone drop in the game and you can actually run it multiple ways you don't just have to run it that way but you could also run it um you could also run it without smart routing it if you wanted to, but this is just a basic flood concept. And what you'll see here, you know, is you know, as this you see that corner route just gets wide open right now. With the latest patch update, it's very difficult to stop corner routes now. And that's what makes this really, really, really good. Now, if they were to go man coverage, I just want to show you this play against man coverage. Now it doesn't always get open against man coverage, but it actually does get open more than you would think. Um, but you'll see here, if you have like a slot o -matic or something like that, it can help increase the odds that this is going to be going, getting open. Also, you have to remember that a lot of times um, in, in regs, you don't have the best route running. In MUT, you're going to have 91 and above route running at that position, at least as long as you have a good MUT team, you're going to be able to do that. So the better the MUT team you have, the better this route is going to be, um, and you're not going to have to worry about you know where the cornerback can stick with them in a man coverage assignment. Even if that's the case, even if they run man-to-man -man coverage, then you're still going to be able to leverage this inside or just just low ball, uh, low ball curl route on the backside there. You could also, like I said, and I actually think there's a lot of value in this. Um, you know, just every now and then within the within the gun bunch and just how complicated the setups can really be um, for you to just do something as simple as slanting Mike Evans you'll find that it actually works really really well works well against Mabel coverage works well against man coverage and works well against pretty much any um, of the popular defenses so those are just a couple of plays I wanted to highlight out of the gun bunch offset if you want to get my full gun bunch scheme go ahead and shoot me a text message my number is 812-216-3644 thanks for watching I want to invite you to my live stream right here on my YouTube channel this evening at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Be sure to come by. If you need a link for the stream, just go ahead and text me. Uh, we also post that in the Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching this video. And just a reminder, if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive scheme, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644.